All right, guys, the time has come. Over six months in the making. Audiobook Income Academy 2.0 drops tomorrow. We won't talk much more about that. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. We'll do a whole course review video so you can learn exactly what's in it. Uh, but in this video, we're just gonna play uh, one of the lessons from inside. And yeah. jump off a cliff. Yeah, well also, can you show where we are right now? Look at this water. This is in Croatia. So we're sitting on a 12 meter cliff. We're about to jump in. The lesson is called Profitability of Publishing and we really explain why we believe publishing truly is the best online business to begin. If you're a beginner, if you fail at a bunch of businesses, whatever, we truly believe it is. And there's two main reasons, but I won't spoil it. Just watch the lesson straight from AA 2.0. Um, that's all we have to say for now. Can I jump in? Yes. Okay, you go first? Yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah. Welcome everyone to this lesson where we will be discussing the profitability of publishing, what makes publishing so profitable, why is it so profitable, and why is it the best online business model in existence. Yes, we're talking ROIs, baby. But more specifically, like you said, what makes publishing so profitable and so amazing, the power of time and why publishing is different and better than all the other online business models in our opinion that we are all aware of. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so what makes publishing so profitable? There's this thing called the compounding effect. So compounding is the ability of an asset to generate earnings, which are then reinvested in order to generate their own earnings. In other words, compounding refers to generating earnings from previous earnings, aka that sounds like free money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the true power of publishing is put on display when you take advantage of the compounding effect. When you have 100 books on the market, you have no choice but to sell a shitload of books. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you have one book, that makes this amount of money. It's not like you have to take care of this one book anymore. You compound it on top with a second book, a third book, a fourth book, a fifth, a fiftieth, a one hundredth, a two hundredth book. How far like, do you want to take it? At least that's where mind, my mind's at. I want multiple hundred books on our publishing business. It's, it, I mean, it's just not complicated. It's not complicated. Yeah, you can stack them and compound them with no no consequences. Yeah, and like the best part, like it says here, you can easily manage one hundred or one thousand or 100,000 books. Because once you publish a book, you've taken it through the entire publishing process, you never have to touch it again. Yep. Never. Like, you could literally have 100,000 books in your account. We're talking- Not do anything. You just, that's all you have to do is nothing. You just sit there and you make the royalties. Mm -hmm. So I want to say, uh, the true set it and forget it is especially applicable with audiobooks. So for eBooks and paperback, to make the most money, you want to run the ads. So maybe that'll, that'll be like a weekly, monthly, bi-monthly update where you check your ads and edit them. Or if you don't want to bother with that, which I don't blame you if you don't want to, then you don't run ads. You don't need ads at all. It's just extra money. And then audiobooks, ads don't exist for audiobooks yet. But maybe they will in the future. Now I'm getting off track. Yeah. But let's continue. So there is this amazing concept known as the power of time. And I feel like a lot of people don't give it credit and don't understand how fucking powerful this is. I feel like it's because a lot of people can't, what's it called, future pace, yeah. where they can't see into the future. They can't imagine life in the future more than like one or two weeks in front of the present time. Yeah, and then they see, oh, it's going to take me this long to make money. And then they get discouraged or whatever. It, it, some people, you can tell them, you'll make your money back in six months. Oh, oh yo, no. Six months? Yeah. Nah, nah, not worth it. This worth is it. a shift you have to make. Making ROI in six months, which means making your money back, is there's no other investments you can make other than into businesses. Yeah, so let's say you do make your money back in six months. You have then set up a money machine that will then just make you money for as long as Audible exists, Amazon exists for. Once you make ROI, everything else after that is profit. Yeah. And then, so it comes down to utilizing the power of compounding and the power of time in one that is what makes it so special. And just understanding it. And understanding it and being aware of compounding and of time. Because there's some people that like, they'll be three months in, they're like, oh yeah, I made 2000, but I invested 2000. 
think, yeah, wow, that's amazing that you made all your money back. Now everything's free. From, well, free. Mm-hmm. Now it's just pure profits from now on. Yeah. Oh, I will use us as an example. Okay. So our publishing business right now, last month it did the new one on this one account did 11,000 from audiobooks. And then people ask, oh, how much did you guys invest? Like we've invested around thirty thousand dollars into it so far. Like, oh, yo, what? Oh, that sucks, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what they don't understand, first of all, the previous month it did eight thousand and three thousand, whatever. So total so far in royalties is around twenty 25. to twenty twenty five, around twenty five, and we've invested thirty k. If we just stop working on it right now, it will make ROI in the next thirty days, and then we have this massive account that is making. 8, 10, 12K a month for the next year. Yeah, it will be making six figures for us. Exactly. And then it doesn't require any more investment, but we want to take it to way bigger than it is now, 20K a month, 30K a month. So we're going to keep on investing, investing, investing. But back to the slide, when you know you're going to make your money back and a lot more, then you will have all of the motivation in the world to publish, 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 and never stop publishing. And those are the people that make the most money. The people who are just publishing, publishing, publishing. They just put their heads down. They don't think about, oh, I'm going to make my money back. Oh, what should, should I do something else? Oh, those it's just worth my time. Those are IDAs. And it's just straying you from achieving your goals. Okay. So the people who are publishing the most are making the most money. And the people who are publishing the most are the people who are aware of the fact that everything they put into it, money and time, is going to come back. 10 times more. Mm -hmm. So it all stems from having confidence in the business model and in yourself to be able to be successful with the business model. That's, that's the core of it. But if you don't understand this power of time thing, like I, then I get why you have a certain feeling, Exactly, which is why we've decided to make this lesson and tell you about this because it's important to understand. Yeah. So here is an example of the power of time at work. This is on my personal, Christian speaking right now, my personal ACX account, separate one from the one we were just talking about. Uh, this is one that I set up back in 2017 and beginning of 2018. So what you see right here is sales from January 2019. And you can see that the top book was put on sale on April 10th and the one underneath April 9th. And that was when I stopped working on this account. April was the last month I did anything in this account. I've opened it up a few times to look at the sales. Otherwise, the only thing I do is I let ACX pay me at the end of every month. Yeah. So that's this is nine months ago. Was it the last time this was touched? Nine, ten months ago. Ten, ten months ago. Yeah. Ten months ago now. At the time of filming. Yeah. And then in the most recent month, January, this book still made 49 sales along with four bounties. To give you an idea of how much money that is, the four bounties alone are worth $50 each. That's $200. And then the sales are around $4 per sale. Four times 50 is another 200. So 400. Uh, so around $400 in royalties in January. That's basically how much the book costs to make. That's so insane. 10 months later, $400 from a book that like, obviously you could have been sleeping the whole time would have yeah. made a difference. This is not lifetime sales. This is one month. Mm -hmm. And then here we have lifetime sales of that same audiobook. And then you see 2,397 sales all time and 44 bounties. That's a shitload of sales. A shitload of bounties comes out to way over 10 grand, like like 15,000, something like that over nine months. The only reason it has that many sales is because it's been out there for nine months, which in the grand scheme of things is a very short amount of time. In another 12 months, it'll have Three, four thousand sales. Another twelve months, it'll have five thousand sales. Yeah. Kind was, of thing. Yeah, I was gonna say it's been quite a, a good period of time, but at the same time, it's been nothing it's, in the grand scheme of things. It all depends on your perspective. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we'll just continue to make money, just yeah. in, on the in the back burner. Yeah, in all of 2019, all of 2020, all of 2021, and then you see the ones underneath. And actually, the one underneath, the second one right there, is one that I wrote myself. Damn. Yeah. So. That is a bundle of two books that I wrote myself. Uh, bundles are free to create. That'll be for a whole nother lesson. But 1,400 sales, 24 bounties, a lot of money because of time. And then once you stack all these on top of each other, then you have the compounding. Yeah. See, you. I have 107 total titles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 27,000 all-time sales. Yes. 
Oof. I, I wanted to put the profitability on display yeah. for people to see firsthand. Mm. And I also want to say, when it comes to this count, of the 107 books, a lot of them were just testing, us testing, yes. well, Christian testing strategies. Massive amounts of testing. What works, what different, what didn't work. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm saying is a lot of these books don't make much money at all. Yeah, most of them. They were the, failed tests. Yeah, yeah. There's like 40 short stories that we're testing with. Um, there's maybe like 20 that do the majority of the sales. 80-20 rule. Yeah, eight, boom, 80-20 rule. Uh, but now I've learned everything, and that's how we were able to take this new account from zero to over $10,000 in four months, mm-hmm. and then way beyond. Mm-hmm. But yeah, moving on. So what makes publishing different? Publishing separates itself from every other online business when you take advantage of the effects of compounding and time, like, like we've we re- already said 10 times. Yeah. This is how you see the ridiculous results and ROI. Ridiculous ROI. We're talking 10x, mm-hmm. more than 10x. Mm-hmm. So no other online business opportunity has the characteristics and set it free at the style like publishing does. Like this is literally passive, unique. Like now I think about, okay, when people talk about online income, then it's often associated with passive income. But what is actually passive? Yeah. If like, I mean, publishing is actually, but what else besides publishing is actually passive? Uh, investments, stock market investing, some real estate once you set it up properly with a manager, but that's a completely different But what else is actually passive? Nothing. I don't know. So I can't think of it. There probably is, but I can't think of it. Exactly. Uh, music, music royalties. Okay. But it's, it all funds, falls under the category of royalties. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So this is actual passive income. Yeah. And to make publishing even better and separate itself from these other online businesses, like Amazon FBA, dropshipping, selling physical products. With publishing, there is no need to worry about inventory because it's digital products. No need to worry about product delivery because it's automated by Amazon and Audible. And no need to worry about traffic because we're leveraging Amazon and Audible's traffic and they have the biggest traffic source in the history of the internet. And something else you forgot to mention is no need to worry about customer support. Yeah, oh, customer, that's a big one. Dealing with customers. Yeah. That's yeah. like the biggest one. Yeah. So to wrap this lesson up, let's keep it short in one sentence. This is, this, if I could sum up this entire course in one sentence, this would be it. Just create and publish high quality content that people are searching for and you will make a lot of money. Period. End of story. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,